Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. We are diving deep into a developing situation that could have profound implications for Iraq's economic future. Specifically, we're focusing on Iraq's 2024 budget, which has recently become a hot topic due to the looming possibility that it might be overturned by the courts. This issue is not just a legal matter but a potentially critical juncture that could impact the nation's economic stability and progress. Let's break down what this could mean and why Iraq might face a period of stagnation until this situation is resolved. Stick around, because this is a development you won't want to miss. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, the budget itself. As it stands. The 2024 budget has been a point of significant contention within the country. Amid mounting economic pressures and the growing need for public services and infrastructure improvements, the budget was intended to mark a step forward in addressing these needs. However, it is now facing a potentially massive legal hurdle. Sources are indicating that by mid-September, Iraq's budget could be challenged and potentially overturned by the courts with concerns that it might be deemed unconstitutional. Why is this significant? In any country, the budget is far more than just a set of numbers on paper. It serves as the backbone of government operations, dictating how funds are allocated across various sectors such as public services, infrastructure projects, defense, education, and more. When a budget is overturned, it isn't merely an administrative inconvenience it has the potential to grind the entire country's progress to a halt. The ramifications of such a scenario are enormous. If the court does indeed rule that the budget is unconstitutional, it would mean that every single allocation and financial decision made based on that budget could be thrown into disarray. This could result in delays of critical projects, unpaid salaries and a broader jeopardization of economic stability. The stakes are incredibly high, as this situation isn't just about abstract figures it's about real people and their lives being directly affected by this bureaucratic turmoil. Furthermore, the situation is complicated by the fact that, despite having been passed, the budget has not yet been published in the official gazette. This publication is the final procedural step needed for the budget to become legally binding. In many countries, a law is not considered officially enacted until it is published in the Gazette. This delay has only added to the uncertainty surrounding Iraq's financial future. Without this official publication, the budget remains in limbo, leaving government officials, businesses, and citizens in a state of anxiety and uncertainty. So, what does this mean for Iraq's immediate future? Essentially, it suggests that nothing of significant consequence is likely to happen until this issue is resolved. The government is unable to make new financial commitments, projects are stalled, and the economy could experience a period of stagnation. The anticipation of the court's decision has created a state of paralysis with all stakeholders holding their breath as they await clarity on the situation. Let's be clear, if the court overturns the budget, it will trigger a chain reaction of political and economic events that could take months, if not longer, to sort out. The fallout from such a decision could lead to protracted political negotiations, economic instability, and delays in critical development projects. The potential for prolonged uncertainty underscores the urgency of resolving this issue and highlights how crucial the budget is to Iraq's economic health and governance. The coming weeks will be crucial, and the resolution of this matter will be pivotal in shaping Iraq's economic trajectory and stability.